Well, let's see how smart Copilot is. If we just basically describe what we want to do, which is to create a timer. Create a timer using the time function. Okay, from time import time. So I could do that if I want to just put the time as a function without specifying the module. Or I could just say import time. Let's try that because then I'll have to say time dot time. All right, so, okay, this is a good suggestion. So what I'm going to do is get the value of time.time .time when this part of the program is reached, and I'm going to save it in a variable called start time. So that sounds good. Now, uh, okay, yeah, that's good. Let the user enter a string. Enter a string. Uh, no, I don't care if the lowercase equals sister. Okay, that's pretty silly. So let's say check how long it took the user to enter the string. Okay, great. So now we're going to take whatever the time is at the end of the input statement and put that into a variable called end time. Now, ah, okay, calculate the elapsed time. I should take the end time minus the start time. Cool. That's what I want to do. Print out the elapsed time. All right, that's great. Let's see if that works. Okay, so you can see down here it's counting five, six, seven, Okay, so it printed 12.829972. That's basically what the execution of the code cell is. Let's see if I can do something faster. This time, instead of just, instead of typing a string, I'm just going to hit the enter key as fast as I can. All right. 0.3 seconds. That's basically my reaction time. It'd probably be better to let someone else click because if I click myself, I know when I'm going to click and I can react faster. I could also simplify this a little bit by doing, letting it do what it suggested, which was to say from time import time. Now if I do that, I don't have to put time dot time. I can just say time. Let's see if that works. Oh, from time import time. Okay, great. All right, that worked. And I could also simplify by just directly calculating the start and end time and print that out here. Yep, that also works. So that'd be one way to simplify the code just a little bit.